The phone we're looking at today has air triggers, a built-in fan system, and is ergonomically designed for gaming or streaming. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isada's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. Today, we're talking about the Lenovo Legion Dual 2, or what could very well be the ultimate gaming phone. I mean, just look at this thing. Special shout out to Lenovo, who was nice enough to lend me this engineering unit so we could get a feel of what this phone does and how it is. So before we proceed, just a quick note that though this is how the phone looks, feels, and how it will generally act, it's still not the final retail version. Right, let's start off with a montage. So guys, a number of things about this phone. First off, it's massive. That's a 6.93 inch display and this phone is definitely not fitting into my tiny pockets, although you'll definitely get an optimum viewing experience through this phone. This is an AMOLED display with a 144 Hz refresh rate. And obviously, this phone looks that hardcore part. What I have here is the white version and since it has that unique center, you really see from afar that this is one special phone. Of course, if you want your devices more nondescript, there's also a black version. It is very uniquely designed with RGB lights in the middle. And yes, you can customize how that all looks. So here you have the different lighting effects depending on what you're doing like game, music, turbo fan, incoming call, notifications, charging, or even just when your screen's on. And then there are different effects like this is spring right now, you have spin, it's pretty cool, breathe, cycle, and then flow. Plus, you can change the color that you're using. And here, there's also one of those two fans peeking out. And yes, these are RGB. Fan settings are over here, so you can have the RGB lights turn on when the fan is on. And you even have the option to start the fan automatically when you reach a certain temperature. So this is with the fan off, number one. And number two, can you hear that? I think this is the highest setting that it can go. And then of course you have automatic, which just turns the fan on when you need it. So the air goes through a vapor cool chamber and it's pretty cool actually. There are vents here and here and you can hear what happens when you try to cover them. I mean, don't try to cover them, but yeah, you get it. The two cameras on the back are also in the middle, which is pretty unique. You have a normal 64 megapixel shooter and a 16 megapixel wide. But what's pretty cool too is a selfie camera. Like, I never thought I'd be this stoked over a gaming phone selfie camera, but... Yeah, it's cool. That is a pretty powerful 44 megapixel selfie cam and it can do 4K video recording because you can actually stream with this camera. So as you can see, it allows you to play the game and it gives you this tiny little window which shows you in your action. There are also different settings here like you can... Wait, <gasps> there are filters on here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So whoa it gave me a mask wear your mask everyone there's also an ar function so now i'm this girl with red hair i mean i am but you get the idea oh and that makes me transparent pretty cool oh my god you know what else is cool you can totally make your background transparent so there's like a green screen function so that i'm like just in the game. This is a phone that's not only catered for gamers, but also to gaming content creators. Now, I can't speak on the camera performance right now because like I said, this is after all an engineering unit, but once upon a time, gaming phones sacrificed camera performance so much. And yet this phone brings us a powerful selfie camera right here that rivals the quality of selfie cameras on non-gaming phones. So I really like that. So for the ultimate gaming experience, this thing offers air triggers and there are not just two. This has an octa-trigger system. That's one, 
two, three, four, and then you have them on the back here as well. So when you play your games, it should be more comfortable just using these controls. These triggers are also customizable so you can move these across the screen wherever you like. Also, the haptics on this phone, it's feeling pretty good. When you do play games on this phone, it gives you this very intricate dashboard. It gives you your LAN signal, SIM signal, there are brightness settings. You have your phone performance and then there's Rampage mode which literally is high speed mode. You have sound settings. And yes, that's how this phone sounds. Other things are up here. So you have your fan settings. I showed you this earlier. You have your trigger settings. Also showed you that earlier. You have the stream mode. You have visuals. You have a RAM cleaner. There is a function called the bypass charge, which is pretty cool. Basically, when you're playing and it's plugged in, it means that power goes straight to the phone and bypasses the battery, which also means better battery health. You have force touch settings. You have vibration settings, you have shadow recording, so you can just toggle here and that back records. Press that, press that, back records. And then you have app and call and notification settings. I'm not the best game player, but let me show you. Right, really quickly, let's put this on rampage mode just because let's see what PUBG looks like on this phone. Again, this is an engineering unit, but at least you get like sort of a sneak peek at what this can do or what these phones could possibly do. Ooh, I can hear the fans. Again, this is rampage mode. That's fast. Let me also show you the difference between enhanced display. Extreme off vivid balance Finally, there are two uh, USB-C ports where you can charge. So you can charge playing like this and have the thing plugged in here. Or you can plug at the bottom here. Or even better, you can plug in both. Obviously, this is a gaming phone and I wasn't really planning on doing a camera tour with this because, I mean, it is a gaming phone which focuses on gaming and gamers and stuff like that. But I discovered some cool camera features on this. So here is a quick semi-camera tour just so you can see. Right, so there is a fingerprint scanner and even from this shot, you could see those lights on the back of this phone. They're really eye-catching. Anyway let's get to it so we have the camera that is a very big screen because it is a big phone so you have wide 1x 2x up until 8x and also there are beauty modes and filters on video uh, you also have different mic settings so you can do a stereo recording front mics or rear mics there's also an audio zoom setting and you can record in 8k okay pretty cool there is a dual view mode and yes i know we've seen this before you can switch the cameras around but what's pretty cool about this is that see you see that you see that so that whole green screen background thing it also works for this so you can be shooting something with your rear cameras and narrating and you can have that green screen going i like that oh did you see that so you can also do dual mode with the two cameras on the back the wide and the main camera and then under more you have a macro mode a pro mode panorama mode slow motion mode time lapse and then there's the director mode which is the feature that i was actually talking about so as you can see you have all the cameras on this one screen when you tap record it's on the screen but i can switch to this or this and then this and then this and how that look is basically one whole clip that switches throughout the screen but i can switch to this or this and then this and then this 
tap record. It's on this. So yeah, it's a pretty cool way to shoot videos and then there's multi-record mode. For this mode, every single box I have selected, when you record it, hi, it basically saves into a solo it. clip. Hi. To record it. I don't know what that's useful for, but I feel like it's gonna be useful for something. The multi-director mode, definitely something I can get behind. And that, folks, was our first look at the Lenovo Legion Dual 2. Again, this isn't the retail version, but hopefully this video shows you just what this thing is made for, what are the things that it can potentially do. Hopefully I get to test out the retail version because I actually want to try playing games on this, even if I, I'm not going to say suck, but I'm just not that good. But yeah, let me know what you think. All details on pricing and availability, a link down below. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's isadoz underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.